so I wanted to jump on here and share with you and show you guys how to create a YouTube banner that is engaging and that tells people what they want to know. I know there's a lot of people out there trying to sell you a YouTube banner, stuff like that, but honestly, it's so easy to make. And if you can make it for free, why wouldn't you do that? So definitely keep on watching if you want to make your own YouTube banner for free. So let's get into it. Okay guys, we are going to create a cover photo completely for free, like I mentioned, so let's get into it. Okay, here's a very recent update to my channel. You can see everything on it, and I have that template where you can see everything on it for your cover photo down below instead of that other one I just showed you. Everything in this video will still be completely the same, do the exact same steps, but here is the new template that you can actually see everything in the photo that you create. Here is a cover photo, for example. Obviously some stuff is cut off, but the majority of the stuff that I want people to see is on here. Something that you may not know is on desktop, mobile, and TV, people see it differently, so it doesn't matter too much, at least when you get the majority of the information you want on this screen. So what you're first going to do is click it so you can start editing it. So here is where you will edit it. Here's where you change your profile picture if you wanted to know that. Here's change banner image. We're going to do that in a second. Let me show you how mine looks. Here is my cover photo. Yes, it looks weird, like I said, because a lot of it does get cut off. So I will have this link down below as well so you can download and use my template. What you're going to be typing is YouTube and then go down to, let's look at the dimensions they say. So they want 2048 by 1152. So you can do custom size and then type those exact dimensions in 2048 by 1152 and create new design. This is where you can drag and drop the photo that I shared with you onto this. So you have a transparent background, so drag and drop. So make that as big as the screen and then transparent. So it's still there, but it's very faint and we'll delete that at the end. So make sure you have the exact width, not like over crazy like this, because that won't help. So what you're gonna be doing is there's over here templates as well as stickers to use. You can use photos, their stock photos that they have on here. I personally like having your own photos so people kind of get to know who you are. There's text where you'll add the text. So let's get into this. I have my templates up here. So you can type in YouTube channel art. And a whole bunch of templates will come up. So you can do this. Here's where I got my template, as you can see, like I mentioned. And I just moved stuff around, created kind of what I wanted. So let's keep looking, see if there's better ones that I can show another example. There it is again. And if you're super creative, you can do it completely on your own too. But I like kind of templates because I feel like I'm a little bit creative, but I still need some guidance. So like if you like a lot of music or doing a music one, you could kind of use this and play around with it, which is kind of fun. So let's mess with this one. So before we get started with that, actually, let's go back and put a square around where we can put our pictures and stuff so we have an outline. All right, let's do the square because actually you can move the sides. So some squares you can't move the sides, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, make it as long as this. It can kind of be a little off just because like I said, some stuff you may not see the most. And just note that you can put some extra stuff above if it's like decorations, but you potentially might not see it on some of the views. But let's do that. So then we can delete this background and create whatever we want. So yeah, let's go back to the templates. Make sure you copy and paste this so it stays on. So there's that. You can make it a little bit transparent so you can still see the back a little bit. So you still have an outline. So it says, let's get groovy. Let's position that behind the letters. So you can type in Caitlin's channel. New videos, you really wanna put when you post your schedule, new videos every Monday at 5 p.m. Probably should put CST. And so then that's that. I would move that up a little bit so it's actually centered in there. And if you want to put these little cute 
see these things? You can, but I would make them a little smaller so it fits in here. Look how cute this is. If you have troubles making everything the same size, just copy and paste it. But it'd be cute like this. And as you can see, you can make them by themselves as well if you do ungroup. And then they're all by themselves. So you can like, oh, I only like the black discs or I only like the teal ones, do that. So you could do that as well. Delete the ones you don't want and put those around here. And then you can also put photos of you like we talked about. So here's some random photos of me when I was doing thumbnails. So let's just put this random one on. Just make sure it's the size of this. And cut some of it off. For example, let's delete that so I can actually put a photo of myself. So there's that. And then I can put a photo on the other side or I could put like a picture that I have, like here's my camera I use. I don't think I use this exact one, but you can put a camera. Honestly, like I said, whatever the heck you want, be creative. I'm just showing a really bad example because I already have one, but there's that. And you can put, if you want the tape, type in tape. Oh my gosh. Still pops up, but I'm still gonna spell it right. So look at all these fun little templates you can play with. So here's a whole bunch of different tapes you can do. This one's cute. And you can do it down to size and maybe kind of turn it sideways so it looks like it's taped on here. Copy and paste so I can put it over here. So like I said, Canva is just the best thing in the world. You can create so much things on it for your business, as well as YouTube, anything, Instagram. So there's the fun tape. You could put anything. There's a whole bunch of things up here too to give you some suggestions of what stickers, shapes, lines, frames, arrows, circles, gradients, rectangle, stickers, frame. They have a whole bunch of cute ones. Do note that these moving ones won't show up because it's gonna be a photo, but you could still do some fun ones on here. When you just click this too, they always have some recommended ones. So here's some featured ones. But eyeballs if you want. If you want to do it Halloween-y every holiday or something, so like Christmas, stuff like that, you can add those and change them up every time and put those in here, really whatever you want. So with Canva, you can use any photo you want. Obviously, like I said, if you don't have Canva Pro, you can't use those items. But a workaway around that is Googling the item and downloading a transparent background photo from there. So let's say elephant. Let's say PNG, so it actually shows up with a fake elephant. Go to images and then go to tools, color, transparent. So you get a elephant on here and it's transparent background that you don't have to do on your own. Bring it over to Canva. And now we have a free elephant to use without having to buy Canva Pro. And that's super fun because you can really Google any image and make sure it has a transparent background. If it doesn't, it's gonna have that annoying white background or some type of background on it that you do not want because then you can't see behind it and it doesn't look like as real. So if I wanna put a little elephant there, if I had like an animal channel, it'd be super cool to put a whole bunch of different animals on here for my cover photo. That's for an example. Upload any of your own photos that you want. A lot of these I got from the internet. But like I said, yeah, you can add whatever photo you want. Here's the subscribe button. You'll probably want that too. So then people are like, oh, okay, I'll subscribe. If you want the YouTube button, still do that thing through Google to get a free YouTube one because they have some that are paid. So yeah, if I wanted like Target, do that. These are almost all of these photos are, like I said, mine or ones I got on the internet. If you're about medicine, you could put cute little medicine stuff on it. So really make it however you want. And then once you're done, you're gonna download it. So once it's downloaded, it's onto your computer in your downloads area or wherever you put it in any folder. Go back to channel customization onto your YouTube studio change and then find the photo 
upload it. And then this is the viewable on desktop, viewable on all devices, which is basically mobile and viewable on TV. So I always at least try to make everything that I want. So like this main Caitlin's channel, new video, subscribe, all that stuff right in the area where it says viewable on all devices. And then viewable on desktop is fine too, cause that's, you can see everything and viewable on TV is gonna be the biggest. And you can move stuff around. And that's why I say to always make it small so you can push everything where you want it. So yeah, now this is viewable on all devices. This main section that I want. And this one's mainly viewable on desktop so you still see all the photo and everything. I don't know why it's cutting that over there, but basically make sure you see everything you want and then do done. And now, as you can see in the small little area, this is what looks like on mobile. This is what it looks like on a computer. So you still see the photos of me and this is what looks like on desktop. So that's super fine. I'm going to remove that and change it to my other one. So people are like, what? Why is there an elephant and these little CB cases? And yeah, that's back to normal. And that's really all you do. It's super quick and easy. So yeah, I don't get why people pay a lot of money to be able to make these. And it's nice because once you know how to do it, you can change it how often you want, whenever you want without being charged essentially by paying someone to do it for yourself. You can also like pay someone to do it and then copy off their design and change it up after that. But I think it's personally easiest to learn how to do it on your own and use the templates in Canva, make it your own. If you see an item that you like on here, like let's say I really wanted, I don't know this new page, I really wanted these little things, copy and paste it onto here. So then you don't have this and you can delete this later. You can delete the entire page. And now I have this little hand controller for video games. So make it your own. And if you have any questions on how to make this, how to upload it, anything like that, please let me know down below in the comments or anything. And I'll be sure to help you guys out if you need it. I hope you guys like watching this and I'll see you guys later. Bye.